Hello, in these notes, we will be going over concept 14b, which is over reflections. So in geometry, we define reflection as when it uses a line of reflection to mirror an image. So again, uses a line of reflection to create a mirror image. That line of reflection can change. So we're gonna talk about the notation and review some common lines of reflection that you are gonna see in this concept. So looking at our notation, we have a capital R. You will be seeing that capital R for both reflections and rotations in the next notes. So what you really wanna pay attention to is the subscript. So here, my subscript is that X axis. That means that that is my line of reflection. So what we're gonna do is review some common lines. So the first line is gonna be the line Y equals X that I'm gonna go ahead and draw here. So I have a line that's going through my origin and it has a slope of one, so it's just going up one over one. Another common line of reflection is the line Y equals negative X. So this line I've done in pink still goes through the origin, but it's going down one over one. So it just has a negative slope. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and plot the point negative two, four. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this point and use these rules given. So the rule given for the line of reflection y equals x states that a, b, whatever my point become is, will become the point b, a. So my point is negative two, four, and that will become four, negative two. So all you have to do is take your given point and flip the order. So it'd become at four, negative two, which is here. So I can say that's A and A prime where if I have the line y equals negative x, my rule states that a, b becomes negative b, negative a. So you really need to pay attention to those negatives. What that means is when I flip the order, I need to also change the sign. So negative two, four become negative four, positive two. So I'm changing the signs when I flip them. So negative four, positive two would be right there, what I did in the purple. In our next coordinate plane, we're looking at horizontal and vertical lines. So the first example is x equals one. If you have x equals a number, so x, equals a number that means it's going to be a vertical line so x equals a number is a vertical line i'm gonna go ahead and erase that so you can see what i'm gonna put here in a second so x is a number is a vertical line and then y equals a number y equals a number will be a horizontal line. y equals a number is horizontal through that number. And the reason that is, is when I say x is 1, I want to see where x is always 1. And when I went where y is 2, I want to know where y is always 2 on my coordinate plane. I'm going to use the exact same point as I did before and that would be negative 2 4 and after I reflected it over the line x equals 1 I get the point 4 4 the reason for this is from my line of reflection I am over 1 2 3 I'm back 3 so to reflect the point I then need to go 3 in the opposite direction from my line of reflection so 1 2 3 which is how I got the point Four, four. Whereas when I reflect over the line y equals 2, I'm 2 above my line of reflection. 
So for my reflection point, I need to go two down from my line of reflection to get the point negative two, zero. So our final problem wants us to perform the transformation on the figure to the right. Looking at our notation again, we have a capital R, but my subscript is the x-axis. So that means that we want to reflect what is in red over the x-axis. So I am going to go ahead and kind of make some dots. So I have the point negative 4, 0, negative 1, 1, 1, 4, it's not going to let me 3, 1, and it's kind of faded, but 6, 0. And I'm going to reflect those points over the x-axis. When I do this, two of my points are not going to move. Negative 4, 0, and 6, 0 are going to stay the same because they're on the line of reflection. So go ahead and pause this video, reflect it, and when you're ready, continue so you can see the answer. So what I've done here is I went ahead and reflected over in blue to get my new points. So negative four, zero still, negative one, negative one, one, negative four, three, negative one, and I still have six, zero. And again, whenever you're doing reflections, rotations, translations, any transformation, you want to pay attention to your notation. So I have like, I went ahead and named my top point A. And so when I reflect it, it'd be A image little prime to show that I've done a reflection of some form.